You know our next guest from his Golden Globe nominated role in Black Klansman and the show Ballers. Now, John David Washington stars in the action blockbuster Tenet. Take a look. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. We're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No, something worse. Tenet will be the first big Hollywood movie to open in the U.S. theaters. Since the pandemic began, it already made more than $53 million in its opening week overseas. Its star, John David Washington, is joining us live. John David, thank you so much for joining us. And bef before we, we get into the movie, Hollywood is really reeling from the news of Chadwick Boseman's um, death. You two never had a chance to, to work together, but what are your thoughts on the legacy that he leaves behind? Um... Well, yeah, I, uh, my, my uh, thoughts, my heart and prayers go out to his family during this time. Um, you know, just being a, a graduate of a historically black college, I just was so proud of the work that he was doing and being the face of uh, one of the biggest franchises of all time in this industry. He's everything you want in a leading man. I got to meet him briefly once some years ago, and he's just as warm as you, as you want him to be. And uh, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible loss, and uh, I'm praying for his family. Oh, yeah, we are too, certainly, John David. Let's talk about your new movie, Tenet. It was directed by Christopher Nolan. And as we mentioned, this is the first big movie to hit theaters since the pandemic struck. Many of us have gotten used to just watching movies at home. This one's going to be seen on the big screen. Why do you think this movie is important to be seen that way in a theater? Um, well, you know, it, it's an event film. And uh, especially during this time, there's nothing you know more eventful than being able to go to the movie theaters and seeing something like this. Um, it's it's an ambitious film. It's his biggest film he's ever done in Christopher Nolan. Uh, spy genre, action, thriller, but uh, but uh, it's a Christopher Nolan genre, so there's going to be twists and turns. It's going to make you think just enough. But it's uh, uh, something that you can enjoy and, 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 be, and, and to be experienced IMAX in a the movie theater. It's the perfect movie to get back to the theaters for. Yeah, the trailer by itself looks pretty intense. We know the movie deals with time travel, and there's some scenes that go forwards and then backwards, but we're told that's not an editing trick. You actually had to shoot them that way and, and train to sort of fight in that way as well? Yes, so we, I had to learn how to blink, walk, talk, fight, run, block, punch, backwards and forwards. So um, I had to, uh, it, it, was, it, was a great, it was a great challenge for me having a football background, being able to sort of unlearn what I'm used to doing. So um, we were sort of discovering these moves together as with the stunt coordinators, George Cottle and company. Uh, it was a great experience. It, it was taxing on the body, but uh, it, it, was, it was worth it for sure. With well, a football background, I'm sure helped, you know, <laughs> learn how to get beat up and get sore and work your way right. through it. And you're talking about watching those moves that looked difficult. But one of the things I heard was most difficult was learning to do some of your lines backwards. Now, I'm not going to put you on the spot and tell you to do it now because I know it's, it's very difficult to do. But how were you able to do that? Um, we, uh, I, I'll, I'll spoil. I had a, I had an app that uh, helped, um, where you speak so you speak a line or really a word into the app, and it, and it and it says it backwards to you. Then you learn how to say that, and then speak it into the app, and then make sure you're checking it. So uh, it was it was wow. it was very difficult. But some of the uh, best work I've ever seen from an actor was from Kenneth Branagh, who was he was also saying his lines backwards, but with a Russian accent. So I've never seen anything <laughs> like that before. It was insane. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, by the way, John David, I I understand that when the pandemic first hit, you moved back to LA. You actually moved back in with mom and dad. How did that go? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was, uh, uh, how did that go? It was, it was full of life. It was fun. <laughs> uh, felt like a kid again, and that's why I moved out you know, a little later. <laughs> well, I, I, will, I will tell you this. I had breakfast with your dad so many, years ago, but right when you booked mm -hmm. Ballers, and he said, John David is the most naturally gifted actor in my family. That's a big compliment yeah. coming from your dad. He's wow. very proud of you, as are we all, man. We cannot wait to see this movie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, y'all. All right. Have a good morning. Tenet, it hits the big screen on Thursday, wherever theaters are open. Make sure you go check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.